Latest now on last night's breaking news out of Pawtucket. We've learned at least three firefighters were taken to the hospital following this late night fire that burned a pair of triple deckers. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yukono live on Melton Street this morning. Crews spent much of the night putting out those hot spots. Brian? That's right, Patrick. Those three firefighters we've learned have minor injuries. They were taken to the hospital, however, to be treated for those injuries. The crews here spent hours through the night, though, sifting through both of these tremendous buildings. And with a look at the video, you'll see the flames that they were up against here last night. You'll see the fire ripping through the top floor of one of the buildings. One witness tells Eyewitness News he saw the flames move from the first floor straight up through the roof. The evacuation horn sounded twice on this scene to get firefighters outside. There were concerns about the roof and the chimney collapsing. Eventually, the roof on one of the buildings did come in. A woman living on the first floor with her husband tells us what she heard and what became her main focus as those flames grew in size. I just heard the uh, smoke alarm going off, and when I came out, there's like, get out of the house. The, your house is on fire. Get my husband out of the house. He had a stroke last year. So he's confined to a wheelchair. So it was like once I found out the house is on fire, I had to just get him out of the house. Now, the fire chief tells us they are still investigating. He says building 23 on this street is where they first saw the flames when they arrived. Four families lived in that building. They are the ones who tell us the second triple decker was vacant. So that's at least some good news in terms of people de being displaced right now. Coming up at 630 this morning, we'll hear from a man whose young daughter lived in that building and why this is so devastating to happen to his family. With Mobile Newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.